Which fruits are safe for people with type 2 diabetes? Well, you don't want to miss this because if you've been told fruits are bad, I'm about to shed some light on this important discussion. Hey guys, Uriel came here. Welcome. I've got the computer going. Not that we're going to be using this or anything, but I just figured it's a cool setup. Anyways, uh, my name is Uriel Kim, New York Times bestselling author, renowned holistic nutritionist and fitness expert, and the man to help you live a healthier, fitter, and more prosperous life. So a lot of people ask me, hey, Yuri, like I've got diabetes or my friend has diabetes or my mom does, and uh, I've been told that fruits are bad for type 2 diabetes. What do you think? What do you, what, you know, what's the deal? And I tell them, uh, the reason I put these videos together is to really educate you guys because sadly, this type of information is not taught. We're not taught anything about health or nutrition going through school, and that's a really, really bad thing. No wonder so many people suffer with their health as they get older. So let's talk about fruit. Fruit is cool. Fruit is awesome. Fruit is loaded with vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients. And to say that an important natural food found on planet Earth, like fruit, is bad for you, is really, I would say, irresponsible. But there are certain fruits that are better than others. So what I wanna do here is explain the difference. So I like to categorize fruit as sweet fruit and non-sweet fruit. And diabetics should mostly be focused on non-sweet fruit because these are the fruits that are not gonna spike your blood sugar, right? We wanna control blood sugar, we wanna help your cells become more sensitive to insulin so you can take sugar out of the blood more easily without relying on medications. And if you're eating fruits, like a lot of the tropical ones, ripe bananas, mangoes, pineapples, and so forth, those are the fruits that are gonna cause the issues, right? So again, the tropical fruits for the most part are ones I would steer away from if you're diabetic. Now, the non-sweet ones are really the North American fruits. So if, I guess the Canadian and US fruits, we're looking at the berries, apples and pears. Those ones are fine for diabetics. Let's look at why. So we look at berries like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. We can even throw cherries into that category. They all are loaded with antioxidants and antioxidants are extremely important because free radical damage is happening every single second of the day and we're bombarded by free radicals and toxins and all sorts of things that are causing damage in our cells and throughout our body. Antioxidants help to fight those and neutralize them. So you're not gonna get a better source of antioxidants than deep colored, deep, deep pigmented type of fruits like blueberries, cherries, raspberries, and so forth. So those fruits are amazing. Secondly, they have a very low glycemic index, which means they're not gonna spike your blood sugar when you eat them, which is awesome. And even if you're worried about that, here's what I'd recommend. Take a little cinnamon, sprinkle it on your fruit, and cinnamon will reduce the blood sugar impact of those foods even further and help your cells respond more favorably to the blood sugar slash insulin response after eating food. So it's a really simple trick. Just sprinkle it on some fruit if you want. It goes great with apples, goes great with pears as well. So berries, apples, pears, those are the ones you wanna to stick to. Now apples and pears, very similar. They have kind of the skin, which is more of the insoluble fiber. It's kind of like the broom, if you will, sweeping things through your digestive tract. And we have the pectin, the inside, which is the soluble fiber, which is kind of like the, the gelatinous substance that is going to bind to toxins and help slow the release of sugars from your stomach into the bloodstream. So these are great because they're gonna give you obviously great nutrition, but they're not fast acting sugars that are gonna come out of your stomach and spike your blood sugar. So again, low glycemic index, great source of fiber, really important for anyone in general, not just type two diabetics. So again, those are the ones, berries, apples, pears. Those are the fruits that are awesome for type two diabetics and you don't need to be afraid of them. One thing I will say is please do not juice fruit. It's a very different animal if you're juicing them because we removed the fiber and now it's just an influx of sugar going into the bloodstream and sugar going into your liver, which needs to be converted into a usable form of sugar in the body which can lead to all sorts of byproducts like VLDL cholesterol, which is terrible, and the fat droplets and triglyceride buildup inside your liver. So juicing fruit, not cool. Eating the whole fruit, fine. No problems there. So if you want to really get a handle on your type 2 diabetes, or if you know someone who has it, who needs this information, I've got a great free report for you called the Diabetes Debacle, and I would strongly recommend you grab it today. Why? Because 
Inside, I'm going to inform you and let you know about the most, five of the most common medications for type 2 diabetes, what you need to know about them, some of the dangers, and some of the healthier alternatives that can help you get a handle on this completely reversible condition, okay? Never forget that. This is a completely reversible condition through diet and exercise alone. Don't let anyone tell you anything else, okay? It might take some time, but there are natural ways to do this, and I've seen it thousands of times with our own customer base. So if you wanna grab that for free, you can grab that the link somewhere in this video or in the description below. And as you're watching this, if you've enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and remember to, remember to subscribe to the channel because I've got tons more videos coming your way to help you live a healthier, fitter, and more prosperous life. And once again, I wanna thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. If you've enjoyed this, awesome. I've enjoyed creating this for you and I look forward to seeing you soon.